Welcome, Midland Area Swim fans. We're here for our, our big annual event uh, for high school swimming uh, in the region with the big uh, swim meet between uh, Midland High and Midland Dow High. Uh, we're located today at the H.H. Dow Natatorium uh, in Midland, Michigan. Uh, where we're going to have uh, one of the last dual meets of the season uh, between the, the two teams, but also as a, kind of a celebration of, of all the Midland area uh, swimming, uh, specifically women in high school age, uh, where we're going to have 79 combatants both in swimming and diving uh, this afternoon. So Com uh, Combatants but friends. That's but friends, for sure. yeah. That's always the theme for the evening. It's also going to be the night of our, our senior night. And uh, just before we get, uh, as they set up the pool, uh, for the first event, um, we'll go ahead and introduce uh, the Midland Dow Heights school team. It's coached by head coach Chili Smith. He's the head coach. Uh, his assistant, longtime assistant coach is uh, Renee Allen and diving coach uh, Jill Lauterman. And from the Midland side, I'll turn it over to Jeff. Uh, yes, good evening. My name is Jeff Newman, and uh, I, alongside me is Doug White here tonight. We're um, the broadcaster, so please bear with us. This is not our full-time job. Um, tonight, the uh, Midland High is coached by Coach Buffy Hall. Uh, she's been head coach now at Midland uh, Chemex for two years, and she's assisted by Coach Pat Welter, uh, who's been a coach for the boys for quite a few years. Um, the first event this evening, um, we're getting ready to get started. And the first event tonight that we're going to start with is the 200-yard medley relay. And I will just briefly let you know that the captains tonight from Midland High School are Miss Emily Crush, Courtney Kaiser, and Sarah Wing. All three of them are seniors. Their final night here swimming at Dow High Pool. Uh, the junior captains, captains to be for next year, are Rachel Crowley, Maddie Allen, and Holly Stelfer. From Dow High, they have three captains tonight, two of which are seniors, Miss Hannah Jacobs and Miss Lauren McLean, and also a sophomore, Chelsea Fenton. Well, that's pretty good. As, as they start to get set up for the first event, uh, just want to reiterate that uh, it is senior night tonight, and while we won't be covering the event uh, on uh, closed circuit today, um, there'll be a, a time period between before and after the diving where all the seniors that have swam for, for four years or, or at least finished up their four-year career with the respective teams will be honored with their parents. So it's a very right. special evening uh, to cover tonight. And, yeah. uh, and while we do that, we'll, we'll make a few uh, public announcements and then we'll get started in, for the first event. Yeah, this evening you are watching this swim meet on MPS TV 190 on Charter and Channel 99 on UVerse. It will be cable cast on Friday, October 21st at noon and Saturday, October 22nd at 2 p.m. Check the MPS website for more dates and times at www.mid. L-A-N-D-P-S.org. That's www.MidlandPublicSchool.org. Well, it looks like they're getting behind the block, so why don't we do, uh, uh, for the first heat, there'll be two heats of this first event, which is the 200 medley uh, uh, relay. And uh, if you're not familiar with what medley relay means, it'll be a combination of all the strokes, butterfly, I'm sorry, backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, and freestyle in that order, two lengths each. So I'll let uh, Jeff set up the, the lanes for the first heat. Yep, the medley relay is a relay that features all four of the strokes that the swimmers do. Um, and typically in the in the top relay team, they'll pick the, the girl that's the best in the freestyle, the backstroke, the breaststroke, and the butterfly and pair them um, in this medley relay. Um, tonight in the first heat, again, there's two heats. Getting ready for start heat number one. In lane one is Dow High, the team of Amy Berry, Emma Carlson, Lauren Ronalski, and Karnika Chandra. In lane two, from Midland, Whitney Duford, Hannah Worley, Julia Powers, and Olivia Barber. And the swimming is underway. In lane three, from Dow High, Isabel Kempel, Annika Thorson, Brooke Schultz, and Maddie Niederstadt. In lane four, Teju Reddy, Holly Stouffer, Lena Lorenz, and Isabella White from Midland High. In lane five, from Dow High, Jackie Lee, Allie Trotter-Wright, Amelia Jenkins, and Olivia Kaminsky. And finally, in lane six, from Midland, Evan Rohde, 
Haley DeForest, Jessica Purs, and Daniel Draves. And you'll notice in each of the races tonight, Dow Pool has six lanes. Typically, the way that it works in a six lane pool is the fastest swimmers or the fastest relay team is set up in lane three. The second fast is typically in lane four. And that's that's typical. And, and tonight it'll be a little bit different in the sense because we're going to run a dual meet format. The first heat they'll go by times, but in the final heat, uh, Dow will be uh, relegated to the, the odd lanes one, three, and five, and Midland High will be in lanes two, four, and seven, but only in the last heats, and that's okay. where those are the heats where uh, scoring will occur. So, um, because there'll be multiple heats, some of the preliminary heats uh, to maximize uh, pool usage, they'll they'll run by seated time, and as Jeff said, uh, towards the center of the pool usually is where the quicker swimmers, but. And like every event, there's there's always some surprises. So we always look for those best times uh, to be accomplished, and that can happen in any lane. You notice that the girls tonight are swimming for um, different cuts every season. They swim for cuts in attempt to make it to a MISCA meet, which is a qualifying meet. And then finally, the big prize is the state championship meet, and the times are set before the season. And these times are published in, in the back of the girls' minds all the time, something that they're striving for. Really so, nice shot here, Jeff, of the, the relay exchange. You'll see the butterflyers coming in, and they'll be uh, leaping off for the, the freestylers. So the, the, the goal is to get that freestyler out there right over the water just as the uh, pre preceding swimmer uh, touches in. So you'll see they're coming into the, the last leg of this heat um, of the Mevy relay, which is the freestyle event. Looks like lane five. Looks like the winner of that heat's going to be Dow High in lane five. That was Jackie Lee, uh, Allie Trotter Wright, uh, Emil Amelia Jenkins, and Olivia Kaminsky. And there'll be various shots of the scoreboard, which generally will show uh, the place and the time. Uh, but as usual, sometimes there are technical difficulties. I'm sure they'll <laughs> they'll square that out. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you can also track by lane uh, both the place and, and lane. So Correct. we'll try to keep you abreast as uh, difficulties occur. Yep. And while the teams are warming down, we'll go ahead and try to announce the, the second heat. And this will be the final seat in the 200 medley free, yep. free relay. Yeah, the girls are allowed a, a short warm down to the other end of the pool as the next heat gets started. And this will be heat two of the girls 200 yard medley relay. Heat two, there are six lanes once again in lane one from Dow High. Audrey Zhu, Brittany Bawar, Katie White, and Emily Schulteis. In lane two from Midland High, Misa Helfen, Natalie Helfen, Stephanie Lynch, and Rachel Schneider. In lane three from Dow, Miss Hannah Jacobs, Tiffany Nesterak, Lauren McLean, and Kaylee Niederstadt. It's fun, those are all four seniors tonight swimming together. In lane four from Midland, Emily Crush, Alexis Ligib, Delaney Randall, and Courtney Kaiser. In lane five from Dow High, Sasha Konovalenko, Ali Jaster, Maggie Dooley, and Claire Newman. Finally, in lane six from Midland, Miss Rachel Crowley, Abby Chapman, Bryn Rohde, and Danya McDonald. Yeah, it's nice in these meets when they can get, uh, especially the seniors, a chance to, to swim with each other. Many times that doesn't happen, so exactly. we'll, see how, we'll see how they do. Hopefully see, they'll win. Yeah. <laughs> see if they can win their final, their <laughs> final race together. And they're underway in heat two. I'll let you know as well that in swimming, the first leg of a relay does count as an official race for that initial swimmer because they don't have to wait for the other swimmer. So in this race, um, this uh, in the 50 backstroke, it doesn't count because it's not one of the races they swim, but in the hundreds, it does count for one of their times. Here, you'll get a good shot of the exchange again, going from the, the backstroke into the breaststroke. I know we didn't get to catch on that. A really close race so far. Those girls, they're, they're trying to get some momentum, aren't they, Doug? And time it just right so they're moving, but not off the blocks until they touch? Yep. Yeah, I think the key here is to get as uh, much lean over as the other one without going early, of course. If you leave a little bit early and your foot's off the block where the hand touches, that'd be a disqualification. We have a, a, we have a great race in lanes three and four between Midland and Dow High School. Close race.
Right now, it looks like Dow's up in front with Midland, the two Midland teams in uh, close second and third. Let's see, we've got Midland out front with Dow behind. Let's oh, see. I'm sorry, I had that's, no, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. Huh. Gonna be a lot to a lot of catch up for Dow. Looks like Midland is gonna have this one. Coming on in lane five is Midland Dow. And your winner in lane four, the winner of the 200 yard medley relay for Midland High, Emily Crush, Alexis Ligib, Delaney Randall, and Courtney Kaiser. Our next event. As they finish up here, the next event will be an individual race, which is going to be the girls 200 yard freestyle. There will be two heats of the girls 200 freestyle. I tell you, in that first relay, Midland had a great swim. They lowered their best time. That's the best time for the season for Midland. Right. Getting them tuned up for the, uh, the Valley, the second out Valley meet will be uh, two weeks uh, uh, from this Friday, so right. from this Thursday for the prelims. So yeah, they dropped over a second there. That was really good. That team, uh, the Dow High team, dropped a little bit too. The senior team. So that was a good race. Okay. In the 200 freestyle, the swimmers will do eight links of the pool. The 200 uh, is not exactly a sprint, but almost a sprint. <laughs> kind of the, the the fast middle distance of swimming. Typically this race takes the swimmers roughly about two minutes. And here they go. This is the first heat of the girls 200 yard freestyle in lane one from Dow Samantha Ludwig lane two Gabby Hoffman from Midland lane three Veronica Matthews from Midland Dow four from Midland Rachel Crowley. Lane five from Dow, Michaela Peary, and lane six from Midland High, Abby Chapman. The swimmers in this race, Doug, have splits, don't they, that they're trying to uh, adhere to or certain times for each 50 that they swim that they want to try to achieve? Yeah, the 200 is a little different in, in terms of, of different strategies that they run, but generally, um, the, the, the better uh, 200 free swimmers will really focus on that third 50. So a, a normal sprinter will take it out sprinting pretty hard taking a lot of air because this is one of those events where you do need to breathe early or Keep else your you'll, oxygen. you'll lose oxygen by the end of the race. Right. And so generally the, the third 50 is the real crucial sure. one. Um, those those two middle 50s are, are really important but some will definitely take it out a little harder than others. You can save a little for the end. So there's a little more strategy depending on what the natural uh, the racing uh, event is, is for the swimmer. So if it's a sprinter moving to the 200 they'll swim it slightly different than a distance person right. who's trying to get their speed up. Right. Harder for that sprinter to put the brakes on and slow down and know they have more than just two yep. links to do. So it's a nice event in that way. It's a it's a nice combination of uh, distance people and sprinters sometimes swim this event. Compete against each other. Yeah, out front we have Veronica Matthews from Midland Dow. Just made her final turn for her final 50. Let you know tonight these MPS TV productions like this couldn't happen without volunteer yep. support. Get involved by taking MCTV's next orientation or studio workshop on Saturday, November 12th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The cost is $45. Call 837-3474 for more information. And finishing up in first place in lane three from Midland Dow is Veronica Matthews. A great swim for Veronica. Her previous best was 213, and uh, tonight I don't see her time. Yep. Uh, like I said, we uh, one of the things that uh, 
is added to the pool this year was a brand new uh, touch pads, which are working behind the scenes. But obviously, uh, the board is uh, they're still uh, working on the board to make sure we get those those readouts. But uh, the new timing systems in place um, this is one of the new upgrades of the pool this year uh, with the real strong support of volunteer booster uh, community that uh, supports uh, middle and public school sports. And such an important thing for everybody, especially for the fans who want to know what their what their kid is swimming and what the time and the team times. Next up we have heat two, uh, the final heat of the girls 200 freestyle. Starting in lane one from Midland Dow is Abby Huffman. In lane two from Midland, Natalie Halfen. In lane three from Dow, Miss Sarah Brandstadt. In lane four from Midland, Carly Servinsky. In lane five from Dow, Miss Charlie Szymanski. And finally in lane six from Midland, Serena Fleming Dittenberg. And they're off. You'll notice when they swim that the freestylers are up pretty quickly after they dive. You'll notice as we go through the night, some of the other sports strokes, they spend a little more time underwater. <laughs> the 200 free is a good balance, a really balanced stroke. So some of your real stroke, you, it is a combination of power and good technique. And so you'll saw in the first event, uh, Veronica Matthews, very streamlined, mm -hmm. still could go very fast. So. Uh, the one thing about swimming, it definitely takes strength and endurance, right. but technique is just a critical element, and you can really see the different styles exemplified when they swim. Some swimmers look very smooth. It doesn't look like they're right. even trying, but they're really moving through the water. Your son Kevin swam the 200 and the 500. Which of those did he like best? Um, I think he liked the 500. Okay. Yeah, if you swim distance, uh, you're always biased towards distance. Right. It's kind of like being a, a marathoner in running, <laughs> but... Uh, but uh, he enjoyed swimming, both of them. Yeah. All right, they're at the turn. That was halfway, the 100-yard point. You'll notice tonight that the girls are swimming. This is a 25-yard pool. 25-yard pools are what they swim for short course season. The Olympic pools that you see on television this summer are 50-meter pools. Uh, meters a little bit longer. So the equivalent, if you swim 50 yards, um, or 50 meters, it's actually about 55 yards, a little bit longer. And the meter pools are what they swim in the summer in the long course season, and that's what they swim uh, in the Olympics as well. So here you see as they come into to their last 50, uh, uh, two strong uh, uh, swimmers here going at it, and uh, this is where the, the pain starts to settle in. But we have right. really Bryce Nace between uh, two Dow High swimmers here in lane yeah. uh, three and five. Yeah, we have. We have Sarah Brandstad in lane three and Charlie Szymanski in lane five who are almost neck and neck with 50 to go. And both are going to do really nice times, I think. Good times. Great times. And you're the winner in lane three from Midland Dow just by a hair was Miss Sarah Brandstad from Midland Dow. In second place in lane five was Miss Charlie Szymanski. Apologize once again, we can't give you an exact time as the board is not showing lanes two and three for us. The next, uh, the next race up tonight is uh, a fun race which features all the strokes for each swimmer. Um, this is the 200 IM. The 200 IM has the girls swimming all four strokes. And uh, there will be two heats as well of the 200 yard IM. Yeah, and this is always an interesting one. So you get a lot of very versatile swimmers that swim this, usually swimmers that uh, have, have swam all the different events and pull them together. But there's also a, a strength element of this because the, the muscle groups change pretty radically between the backstroke and the breaststroke. And so. Uh, it can also be a, a, a very uh, demanding event on the swimmers. Right. In uh, in lane in the first heat in lane one from Dow is Allie Trotter Wright. In lane two from Dow is Annika Thorson. In lane three from Dow is Annabelle Park. In lane four from Dow is Jackie Lee. In lane five from Dow is Lauren Ranalski. And in lane six from Dow is Megan Troublecock. 
And if I was a betting man, I would bet on Midland Dow on this race. <laughs> You notice the order is a little different from the relay uh, in this event. Uh, the swimmers start out because they have the ability to dive. They start out with the butterfly and roll over onto their back for the backstroke. Next, they will turn and do the breaststroke and finally finish up with the freestyle. Yeah. And like you mentioned, uh, this is where uh, you'll see a lot of movement in places. Uh, Jackie Lee who, uh, won the first 50 is uh, a butterflyer, but generally you'll see a lot of movement in the breaststroke event because breaststroke is the, probably one of the most specialty strokes. Right. And uh, traditionally a lot of your best diameters have a strong breaststroke. So we'll see if uh, someone can make a move uh, on the leader today. Yeah, if you have uh, somebody you're rooting for who is a, uh, a breaststroker, you're always anxious for the third leg to see what they can do. <laughs> See if they can catch back up. The other thing about the 200 IM is that it has a wide variety of different turn types since you are switching from right. one stroke to the other. Uh, so there's a lot of strategy and and, uh, and a lot of focus on, on the turning and, and uh, streamline push off the wall for, for IMers. Yeah, these swimmers, would you say, have to be some of the best technical swimmers that there are because of all the, the different turns they have to master. Yep. Yeah. And, and all four strokes. Yep, and it's uh, it's one where balance really matters. So out front, um, just finishing up her leg in the breaststroke is is Jackie Lee from Midland Dow, yeah. making her turn and starting her freestyle. You'll notice you'll see the coaches on the sideline there with motions on their arms with their hands above their head or or moving their arms back and forth. They try to time it such that when the swimmers turn their direction for a breath that they can see and, and give them some uh, input what needs to happen. Yep and here comes uh, looks like uh, lane three Jackie Lee will touch out and win at a time of 240.68. That was a great time for Jackie. She dropped almost five seconds in that. That was a great swim. And uh, as always, our technical crew did a great job. As you see, the board now is, is yeah. working, so uh, that'll help the announcers out through the, right. through the rest of the meet. So We can be a little more educated. We certainly need that. So this should also help uh, the viewers at home uh, uh, checking out the swimmers in the various lane by place and by Correct. time. So. Next up, as the girls warm down to the other end of the pool, next up is the second heat of the girls' 200-yard IM. In lane one from Midland Dow is Tiffany Nesterak. In lane two from Midland High, Stephanie Lynch. In lane three from Dow, Chelsea Fenton. In lane four from Midland High, Katie Bircher. In lane five from Dow, Audrey Zhu. And finally in lane six, Misa Halpin from Midland High. This should be a great race between Chelsea and Katie and Audrey. It's always important when the swimmers get on the blocks, they ask that there's not any cameras going off or anything to distract the girls because they have to listen so closely for that uh, instructions from the starter. And this is a, a good shot uh, actually to recognize some of the other volunteers. While we have electronic timing, you'll still note that uh, still a lot of parent volunteers behind the Correct. block. It really takes a lot of volunteers to put on a quality swim meet. So we always appreciate uh, right. The volunteers from the various teams, uh, many times the parents, but many times uh, fellow students, students on, the, yep. on the men's team. Um, and it really helps the meet run smoothly. It does help in almost, almost every meet. Randy Paul, who's running the meet uh, from the computer side, will tell you that at least once or more every meet, they require the times from the timers because of a technical issue. So Always need the backup. As you as you guessed it, Jeff, really close race uh, yep. between the Midland and the and the Dow High swimmers coming yep. off the butterfly. All three lanes three, four, and five. Bertrand, Fenton, and Zhu almost tied here as they do the backstroke. Out front, just by a little bit in lane three, is Chelsea Fenton.
like to make note that uh, to let you know to help MCTV celebrate the many great volunteers who make the show you watch come to Honors Night on Thursday, November 17th at 6.30 p.m. at Creative 360. Okay, and they're turning on the breaststroke. Uh, Chelsea's a great breaststroker, so she's stretched her lead out front a little bit in first place. Followed it closely in second by Katie Bircher and then Miss Audrey Zhu. Here they go into the freestyle now. Final leg. What legs they have left, right? Yep, I can tell you from experience, uh, <laughs> if you're a freestyler and not a breaststroker, you hit that freestyle, it feels really good. Yeah, I bet it does. The muscle groups change completely. It does. And, and, uh, so you there notice, is some endurance, yeah, yeah, required. You'll notice Katie Burchard's a great freestyle, and she's catching, starting catching, to make up. And I think catching Chelsea a little bit. I don't know if there's enough time, but she did catch her a little bit. And coming to the finish. Nice swim. Good swim for Chelsea. Chelsea Fenton from Midland Down first, followed closely by Katie Bircher. There's a nice shot of how the results are supposed to look on the board. Yeah. So, thank you, team. Thank you. You'll notice this is always a loud meet. You hear that in the background. It's fun. And all the yeah. other students here to cheer. And there's a lot of cross cheering uh, because uh, so many of these swimmers have known each other right. for so long. Uh, yeah. Many of these swimmers have been swimming since they've been eight years old. And yeah. so uh, whether it's in, in high school swimming or in age group swimming or right. rec swimming, uh, they've all met each other, probably trained with each other, and uh, have been coached by coaches on, on both sides right. of, of the water here. Typically, typically Coach Hall, Buffy, starting them with the in Dolphins when they're sometimes six or seven years of age. So... You guys can't see that. Just a little, just a little bit better. That's good, just a little bit. Next up, next up is event number four. This is going to be the fastest event of the night. Um, this is the 50 freestyle. In this race, the girls just have to go down and back as fast as they can. This is heat one of six. In lane two from Midland High, Hayden Rice. In lane three from Midland, Rachel Crowley. And in lane four from Midland, Whitney Duford. All these swimmers are from Midland High, so we know who's going to win this heat. Yes. Looks like maybe the next heat, too. Okay. This is always one of the events that uh, some of the swimmers that uh, may not have experienced a, uh, one of their first events in swimming is the 50 freestyle. Right. So uh, there's always kind of a... Uh, an honor attached to this event being right. one of the most popular events, and uh, you'll see a lot of uh, good races in this event. It's usually yep. a very close race as the times come down. And the winner of the first heat in lane number three was Rachel Crowley from Midland High. Next is heat two of the girls' 50 freestyle, event number four. In lane one, Danielle Draves from Midland. In lane two, Ariana Honer. In three, Jessica Purs. In four, Haley DeForest. And in five, Evan Rohde, all from Midland High School. One of the things that sets these swimmers in the 50 free apart once they, if this is their event, if they're sprinters, is their starts, their turns, and their finishes. So much of the race can be won at the start and can be at the turn and on your finish, certainly. Because this is one for sure that's all out uh, sprint. You don't hold anything back uh, right. in, in this event. And uh, like Jeff suggested, getting a good streamline off the wall and into the into the water off the start is really paramount to success. Great race in lanes three and four. Looks oh almost a tie, but your winner in lane four from Midland High, Haley DeForest. Great time for Haley. She dropped about three quarters of a second, or half a second anyway. Yeah, and that's an important thing to note in all of these events. Uh, swimming is one of those events that's both as an individual component uh, as well as a team component, right? So 
Um, the one thing about swimming, no matter what your level, your your biggest competitor is yourself so, in the clock. Right. And, uh, so someone who may finish uh, out of the out of the medal could still have a, a great race if they sure. meet their personal best. And right. That's really They're what it's out, all about. Swimming. Out there swimming against the clock, basically, in a lot of cases, trying to improve. This is heat number three in lane one from Dow, Brooke Schultz. In lane two from Midland, Dakota Mavy. In lane three from Dow, Kaylee Niederstadt. In lane four from Midland, Olivia Barber. In lane five, Amelia Jenkins from Dow. And finally in six, Julia Power. And your winner in lane three from Midland Dow, Kaylee Niederstadt. Time at 27.05. Next up is heat number four. In heat number four, in lane one from Dow, we have Maddie Niederstadt. In lane two from Midland, Holly Stauffer. In lane three from Dow, Kava Chandra. In lane four from Midland, Jalen Lewis. In lane five from Dow, Karnika Chandra. And in lane six from Midland, Jesse Brown. And one of the team elements of, of swimming in these meets too is is that the swimmers are limited to basically uh, a four total events, and so. Right. Uh, and Don't but they, you're on, but you're only allowed to swim two individual events and two right. relays, but you can swim three relays and one individual event. So part of the strategy, of course, is uh, is how can you maximize your points? Uh, and I know from the the Dow standpoint uh, today. Uh, some of the strategy is also getting swimmers who either haven't swam a specific event or might be specifically training for the valleys right. in that specific event. So the combination of, of what they're trying to do, where they can get an opportunity to, to time becomes uh, pretty critical and part of what coaches think about uh, when preparing for a dual meet. Right. And this is heat five of six. Heat five of six. In lane one, Sarah Church from Dow. In two, Isabella White from Midland. In three, Emma Carlson from Dow. In lane four from Midland, Dana Morris. In five from Dow, Isabel Kempel. And in six, in lane six, Cassie Ramiti from Midland High. You notice in this 50 race, sometimes at the at the upper levels, they take only one or one breath, two breaths, or zero breaths actually for the whole 50. Keep their head down and keep charging. Your winner in lane three, Emma Carlson from Midland Down. Next up is the heat six in the final heat. So in this heat, we have probably one of the top uh, swimmers in the state of Michigan in the, in the 50 fly. She's a, a freshman from Dow High. Who will be trying uh, getting getting close to some of the pool records? So maybe we'll have a pool record today, and uh, we'll see. But you'll see a nice, really nice sprint out of out of lane three today. And they're off here in the final heat, heat six. Emily Schulteis in one, Courtney Kaiser in two, Claire Newman in three, Alexis Ligon in four, Hannah Jacob five, and Corinne Dunsmore in six. And out front we have Claire Newman in lane three. And you'll see a very unique stroke here. A lot of sprinters go to the straight arm approach for sprinting. Really nice uh, illustration of that here. Paying off with good success. And Claire in first place with a time of 24.67. Really nice swim. Winner from Dow High. And that is a cut for the state meet, which uh, Claire had already had, but does it once again in the 50 freestyle. So now we're going to probably uh, cutting away from our, our telecast at this point, but we'll return. There's going to be some ceremonial uh, ce uh, celebration for some of the seniors, and then we'll return uh, with the diving event. And I believe we have uh, four divers today. Correct. And uh, we'll set that up uh, when, when we return, but I think we're going to uh, take a, a, sh a short break uh, during some of these internal uh, activities. So again, yep, so we're, yep.
Uh, once again, you are watching this swim meet on MPS TV 190 on Charter and Channel 99 on Uverse. It'll be cable cast on Friday, October 21st at noon and Saturday, October 22nd at 2 p.m. Check the Midland Public School website for more dates and times, www.midlandpublicschools.org. Uh, talking above, you'll notice they're playing the Midland Comic fight song in the background right now. <laughs> um, this MPS TV productions like this couldn't happen without volunteer support, certainly. Get involved by taking MCTV's next orientation or studio workshop on Saturday, November 12th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The cost is only $45. Call 837-3474 for more information. And then finally, we want to help MCTV celebrate the many great volunteers who make these shows you watch. Make, uh, come to Honors Night on Thursday, November 17th at 6.30 p.m. at Creative 360. Thank you very much. And as I said, we're probably at about the halfway point of the meet. We'll come back for the, the middle event, the, the diving, when we return. So thanks for joining us. Welcome back to the Midland Dow, Dow High Meet. We're just now starting the, di the diving. First diver is Donnie McDonald from Midland High School. She did a, a back dive uh, with a half twist on that one. So uh, we'll, have, we'll be having four divers today, uh, three from Midland High and one from Dow High and they'll each be doing six dives. So we're into the first round uh, as we speak. Second diver up will be Riley Davis. Riley's a sophomore from Dow High and has been diving for just a few years now and, and has been working on getting her full complement of dives uh, for both the longer meets where they have to do 11 dives. Today they'll only be doing six. You'll notice that we do get uh, a little quieter when they get up in the, uh, on the diving board as they, they want it uh, as quiet as they can. And, uh, and, and diving, of course, isn't done with a time clock, but by uh, judges that uh, record their scores. The dives are recorded based on the dive that they do, the degree of difficulty, and of course how well they execute the dive. The next diver up is Taylor Harvey from Midland High School. Taylor is a sophomore. She's a diver and also does the pole vault of all things. Oh, very nice dive for Taylor. Yep. She'll probably get some high scores on this, probably in the sixth range. Yeah, Taylor initially was a swimmer last year, and she switched to diving this year. Looks like she's picked it up pretty quickly. Yeah, two six and a halfs and a six on that dive, Jeff. Nice entry on the replay. The next diver is Miss Sarah Wing, a senior, one of the seniors tonight from Midland High School. Yeah, one of the interesting things about diving is, unfortunately, our scoreboard won't record the, the diving scores today, but we'll try to... Uh, announce when uh, a significantly high score comes about. And we will have replay on the diving as well. It's interesting, I see a trend here. Uh, Sarah's also a pole vaulter. There used to be an up there. Yeah. Nice dive. Yeah, Sarah's probably the most accomplished diver, and I believe she's a senior this year as well, right, Jeff? Yes, she is. Yep, she's team captain this year for both track and field and for... And you'll see, let's see a replay of that dive as she comes. See the back dive, face back, very nice entry. Yeah. 
when they enter the water, they want to be as straight up and down as possible. And she was almost straight up and down. It was great. This is round two. This is the first diver once again, Danya McDonald. Danya's a sophomore. She swims and dives. So she not only dives, but she'll be in the pool swimming as well. on her entry her feet just came over a little bit too far yeah the back dive layout position is a very difficult dive, dive. because you can't pike to, to control yourself in the middle so next up is riley davis to a dive number two is that they come, they have a gymnastics background you know, where they learn to do all the twists and the somersaults and the things that they have to do in the air. The difference being that in gymnastics, they land on their feet and typically here they, they land on their head first. <laughs> Many times, yeah. Nice replay of Riley's dive. Also had a half twist in, in that one. Again, that was a back dive, but you notice there's one full twist because he uh, hit the water facing uh, the way she went. Right. Again, really good, good scores. Good scores for Taylor. Yep. Like I said, this is a back dive singer stumble soft, but here you see, you'll see how she does one full twist where she enters the water just as she left the board. Yep, and almost straight. Next is Sarah uh, with her second dive. Once again, each diver will do six different dives. And that's again another back dive, but this was one and one half of this. So she does one full rotation and faces away from the board. A little higher in degree of difficulty in that day. Really nice height on this dive, Jeff. Yes, that was. Coach Hall wanted to make note, too, that uh, Sarah's been quite a leader for all the divers, including Riley from Midland Dow, as a senior, has been quite a leader for the local divers. Next up with her third dive is Danya McDonald. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that, Matt, uh, because uh, the, the pool time being such a scarce commodity sometimes during right. this season, the fact that the Midland and Dow divers can both share pool time as well as a coach um, really that helps them uh, compete but also uh, really learn from each other. You notice that Danya was straight there, but at the end her feet came back over her head. These are the dives that always make me nervous when they go back and their head close to the board. Yeah, I think you'll see um, most people think the inward dives are the challenging one, but it's the reverse dives where they can't see the back of the board. Right. And well, I'm sure uh, there'll be several of those coming. This is probably uh, a good example of an inward dive here, I believe, uh, for so, Riley. Yeah, this is her third dive.
And like Jeff said, uh, the inward dive ball, it looks like uh, uh, they come close to the board. Uh, in reality, divers prefer that because the board is in front of them so that they can see the end of the board. So it's the reverse dives that they'll do later that uh, they actually uh, dive off line and throw the head back towards the board. Agree, though, it still makes you nervous. Yeah, <laughs> this is dive number three for Taylor Harvey. Apparently, Taylor, Taylor's good luck charm is bright pink lipstick. Now we're too far away, I can't tell, but apparently that's her good luck charm. Yes. Coach Hall says it matches her personality. That was nice. That Again, was nice yeah. effortless low splash entry. Yeah, and you'll see here that even on the entry, even her toes are pointed as they hit the water. Right. So really reduces the splash and gets it streamlined. So really nice, really nice attempt. Taylor's having a, a really great evening today. Very nice entry. Yep. Up next with her third dive is Sarah Wayne from Midland High. Dive number three. Sarah finished second at the Tri-City meet, and her goal is a victory at the Valleys, which comes up next week. Again, you'll see consistently from Sarah, who's a senior, that her, her uh, dive selections are usually just slightly more difficult, and right. so it gives her that extra multiplier for right. each dive. So as, as uh, divers get more accomplished and the difficulty goes up, um, it really helps them in, in competing. Um, across the, uh, the various other teams. Next up is the fourth dive of Danya McDonald. This is this is my first year. Yep. You're doing a great job. And yeah, Jeff, this is a good example. I think uh, a lot of the reverse dives will be in this round. You'll see in this case, the diver jumped up and then lay her head back towards the board. And so you'll see uh, less experienced divers get a little further away from the board uh, because of the comfort factor. Right. And as they get more experienced, they'll start uh, creeping towards the board, right. which makes them a better diver, coming. but uh, increases the scare factor of their parents. Especially with the parents, great. Mm -hmm. Next up is Riley with her fourth dive. Riley's been a very consistent performer for Dow this year, and our only diver. Like so many of the swimmers, they have you know other interests as well. Riley's a very accomplished flute player mm -hmm. in, in the Dow, uh, in one of the Dow concert bands. Looks like she got a lot of height on that one. Yeah. Her head was almost motionless as her body spun around before she went down. It was pretty. Next is Taylor with dive number four. Yeah, Taylor, here's a good example of an inward dive. Again, where you're leaving the board and, and uh, flipping towards the board with your head. Really nice example, and that was in the pike position, as you saw as she bent over with hands very close to her toes. So in the pike position, you'll see her bend down, go down towards her toes, and then extend to the water. The layout position, the feet would have come straight out. Very nice dive. Next up with dive number four is Sarah. You'll notice when you look, you can't quite see them on film, but the divers go through their routine 
with their arms and leg positions prior to entering the diving board. Again, that's a slightly higher degree of difficulty yeah. dive. And Very good uh, score of sixes in that high degree of difficulty dive. So back dive one and one half somersault. Next up is Danya with her, 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 excuse me, her fifth dive. Again, there are six total. Nice forward dive in the pike position. You see again that pike position coming into play. Really extended down. Is the height something they're looking for there? Yeah. As much height as they can. On other ones, getting off the board up, and she gets nice vertical. And then actually, nice entry, a little separation right. in the feet, yep. but really nice, uh, nice dive in the pike position. Next is Riley with dive number five. one of a fan favorites and the divers favorites as well as the one and one half forward dive. And this is in the tuck position. Do you see how right. her knees are bent up to her body? So we're nicely That's done. That's just about like I look in the pool. Yeah, except I hit horizontally. <laughs> no points for belly smackers and high school right. diving. <laughs> Next up is dive five for Taylor. How about the cannonball? They have that here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I think the crew would like to have its own contest and right, the cannonball after the meet. Correct. <laughs> Again, that was a tuck dive in, in the English position. It's a pretty challenging dive. So yeah. Taylor's already uh, developing quite a repertoire of dives. Yeah. Looks like she's kind of struggled to get around, completely around. For someone as early as she is really showing uh, a lot of promise today on the board. Very difficult dive this time for Sarah. Degree of difficulty 2.2. Maybe one of the most difficult ones so far. This is her fifth dive for Sarah. Mm -hmm. Well done, tuck yeah. position. Well done. She did two? No, that was one, one and a half. half. Yep, scores in the sixes. Yeah, nice high scores on this night for, for Sarah. Wow, that was, uh, that was yep. a great dive. Really got her toys pointed in the entry early. And the final dive tonight for Danya McDonald, dive number six. Yep, came out of it to 
just a little bit early. Yep. She had that one back. This is dive number six for Riley Davis from down, her final dive. All the divers doing very well tonight. That cannonball would be about, what, a 0.5 degree of difficulty, you think? Again, that was Riley's reverse dive. I think the, I mean, it's one that required dives is a reverse dive. Right. She pulled that one up really good. They're the hardest yeah. dives to learn for a diver. And they're all getting them down pretty well now. See how her feet goes out and she has to lay your head back. It takes right. a lot of confidence to go back to the board. Yeah. Just had to get the feet up, like straight up a little bit. Yeah. Nice attempt, really nice attempt. Next dive, diver number six for Taylor Harvey. People have to remember they have to actually practice these dives, and the yeah. first time you do something new, right, um, it takes a lot of courage to be a diver. Water, but it still does hurt when you're that high. A lot to think about when you're up there. Okay, and the final, the final dive of the evening is Sarah Wing. Her final dive for Midland High. After the diving, there will be a short break while they introduce the seniors. Um, and celebrate the seniors for Dow High this year. Tiffany Nesterak, Lauren McLean, Kaylee Niederstadt, Isabel Kempel, and Hannah Jacobs. Five and a half and sixes again for Sarah. Quite a what a score for her this evening. Yeah, and they'll have the they'll have the uh, results in just one moment. Moment. Results of diving and fourth place from Midland High was Johnny McDonald. Third place was Riley Davis from uh, Dow High. Second place, Taylor Harvey. And first place, senior Sarah Wayne. So we'll be uh, wrapping up for some more uh, senior activities this time on the Dow High side. And then we'll be returning uh, for the second half of swimming. Uh, that will start with the 100 uh, yard butterfly. So um, as we go to that, we'll. Uh, uh, have a few announcements here and then we'll cut out and return. And just remember this evening you're watching this swim meet on MPS TV 190 on Charter and Channel 99 on UVerse. We've got the Dow, the Dow fight song in the background here. It will be cable cast on Friday, October 21st at noon and Saturday, October 22nd at 2 p.m. Check the Midland Public School website for more dates and times. Enjoy the last few minutes of the Dow fight song. Stay with us. Hope you'll join us for the second half of swimming. We'll be right back. We live. Okay. Well, welcome back. We're to the second half of the swim meet, uh, the Midland Midland Dow uh, swim meet. We just started the hundred butterfly. Jeff, what's the lineup in this first heat? Three from Dow High, Annabelle Park. 
And I want to give a shout out to Annabelle's grandparents, Brian and Bobby Swanson, who are tuning into this broadcast from Grants Pass, Oregon. Nice that area. May be, it's a beautiful area. That may be the farthest uh, that they're tuning in, so that's great. In lane four, Lena Lorenz from Midland. In lane five, Michaela Peary from Dow. And in lane six, Bryn Rohde from Midland High. This is a really nice shot of, of the butterfly. You'll see it's a two-hand touch turn, but really this is the, the most demanding of, of all the, the swim strokes in terms of strength required to do it. And so technique meets a lot, but also a lot of power and, and endurance, one of the most tiring events. And Annabelle's grandparents watching. She's having a great swim. She came back closely there. But your winner in lane five from Midland Dow, Michaela Peary. That was a great swim for Michaela. She dropped almost four seconds. In second place, in second place in that heat in lane three, Annabelle Park. Next up will be heat two. Heat two of two of the girls' 100-yard butterfly. This is event number six. In lane one from Midland Dow is Miss Audrey Zhu. In lane two from Midland High, one of the seniors, Emily Crush. In lane three from Midland Dow, Katie White. In lane four from Midland, Delaney Randall. In lane five from Midland Dow, Maggie Dooley. And in lane six from Midland, Stephanie Lynch. This looks like it could be a really close race here. This will be a good race. These girls, I know the Katie White, Delaney Randall, Maggie Dooley have swam together for a long time. This again is a 100-yard butterfly, so this is four lengths of the pool. That second 50 is really grueling in this race after they sprint out to start. Great race. Katie and Delaney touched, touched almost simultaneously. Front yet we have from Midland High, Delaney Randall, followed closely by Maggie Dooley and Katie White. And the winner in lane four from Midland High, Delaney Randall. Good time, she dropped about four tenths of a second. Good win for Midland High there. That was. Next up, we have the 100 freestyle, event number seven. There's gonna be five heats of the 100 freestyle. Each of these takes about a minute. Heat number one of five is three swimmers from Midland Dow, Megan Treblecock in lane two, Lauren Ranalski in lane three, and Miss Jackie Lee in lane four. The 100 freestyle, again, is four links of the pool. Pretty much a flat out sprint for those four laps. In some of these second half races, we'll start covering some of the highlights from, from the team activities. Um, one thing that, from the Dow High side of things, uh, uh, Dow uh, just last week swam down in the Detroit area where they uh, competed against uh, some of the top teams in Division II. Uh, they had a try meet uh, with the Birmingham Groves and Gross Point South last Friday in a very, very close try meet where Dow took second place to Groves and, and beat Gross Point South. Correct. But all teams, uh, both teams were within 10 points of each other. And in uh, Division in Division Two High School, I think it's Gross Point is ranked fourth in the state of Michigan and Groves was sixth with Dow closely behind in eighth place. So that was a, a great uh, showing for Dow High. Yeah, so it could be a, 
prelude to things to come hopefully later in the in the season. In high school swimming, swimming is divided into three divisions, division one, two, and three, rather than the eight divisions you see in football and some of the bigger sports. Really close race in Coming this, to the uh, wall, almost a tie, yep. And just out touching the winner in lane four, Jackie Lee. Yeah, really close finish here. We're going to get a replay yep. coming in. All these uh, swimmers within one second finishing here. So right. this is uh, from first to third place. And the uh, difference being only one second here, the main spread. So that's what one second difference looks like. Sometimes it's the middle, the distance of a fingernail is all it takes who touches harder on the wall. Yep. Next will be Heat three. Next is heat two. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, that's okay. Heat two of the 100 freestyle. There are four swimmers in lane two from Midland Dow, Brittany Bawar in lane three, one of the seniors tonight, and a captain, Lauren McLean from Midland Dow. In lane four, Allie Jaster from Dow. And in lane five from Dow, Allie Trotter Wright. This is another race where it's so critical with your uh, when you on your start and your touch and turn off the wall. Lauren has stepped out to a pretty good lead right next to her in lane four though Allie's staying relatively close. Here they come to the finish and uh, leading the way in lane three, the senior. One of her last swims here at Dow High, Lauren McLean, one of the captains tonight. It's a great time for Lauren. Lauren swam a 101, which is almost three seconds off her previous time. Great swim. Next is heat three of five. In lane three, or in heat number three, I'm sorry. In lane one, from Dow, Amy Berry. Lane two, Cassie Ramiti from Midland High. Another senior from Midland there. Yep. In lane three, Maddie Niederstadt from Dow. In lane four, from Midland, Hannah Worley. In lane five, Kava Chandra from Midland Dow. And in lane six, Haley DeForest from Midland High. This is heat three of five. Seems like so much of this race often is determined on that final 25 coming back. Who's got the most kick and the strength? If you look on the, the video, you'll see behind the swimmers how they really churn up the water. Majority of a swimmer's stroke, especially in the freestyle, comes from their upper body and their arms, but the leg is so critical. Yeah. Getting a nice view today on, on the camera with, with all the lanes. And you can really see the spread of differences in the types of strokes. Nice example there, close up in lane one of the flip turn. Yeah. Really getting your spacing from the wall. You don't want to get too close or too far yep. away uh, to get the, the most out of the wall. It's also a period most people don't realize is where the swimmer actually rests. And so during the turn, get a little bit of rest on the body, then regenerate and start. So swimming by nature is an interval type of sport where you go hard and rest, go hard and rest. We'll show you in a couple minutes when you watch, you'll see that small red line that Amy just passed right there. That has some meaning in the pool. We'll talk about during the breaststroke. Really nice swim. And the winner, of, the winner of heat three with a great swim for her, Amy Berry from Midland Down. And next will be heat number four of five in lane one from Dow, Tarnika Chandra. In lane two from Midland, Dana Morse. In lane three, Emma Carlson from Midland Dow. 
in lane four, Gabby Holman from Midland. In six, Sarah Church from Dow. And in lane six, Isabella White from Midland High. Couple seniors in here, Dana Morse and Gabby Holman from Midland High. Their goal on that start is to try to get out away from the board as far as they can and to use that underwater dolphin kick to propel them until they come up and break the water. Getting off to an early lead in lane five is Kava Chandra from Midland Dow. She's just a freshman. Yeah. And one thing that a lot of people don't know, it's kind of an unusual tidbit, is that while it's called the freestyle, uh, primarily people think that uh, freestyle specifically means they have to do what almost all swimmers do, which is the Australian uh, crawl stroke. Right. Uh, it but used it, to be called, the, indeed, called the crawl. Yeah. Nobody knows it that way anymore. But actually, you're allowed to swim any of the strokes uh, in the freestyle event. Um, but uh, by nature, this is the, the fastest one, right. so it's the most commonly chosen. But every once in a while, you'll see a swimmer come in with a different stroke. And as long right. as they don't change the stroke uh, and continue the whole race in that stroke, yeah. it's legal. You remember at the boys' meet a couple of years ago in the 500 freestyle where the young man from Midland did the 500 butterfly. Why he did that, I, he still doesn't know. He was a senior, so. <laughs> Your winner in lane three, Emma Carlson from Midland Dow. Here we'll probably have a, uh, another look at the, the, the finish here. You'll see in the water, as the swimmer comes in, you'll see how it was really close. And you'll see that the swimmer in lane three just touched and at the end of that uh, of the lane is an electronic pad. So uh, that's how you can get very uh, close to termination of the right. actual winner within a one hundredth of a second. Five one hundredths of a second separated them. And I don't know if, if you saw much of the Olympics, but you'll saw several times uh, within a hundredth there is a tie. So oh, yes. um, that's how close some of these swimmers can be. So Correct. Next up is heat five, the final heat championship heat tonight in lane one is Chelsea Fenton from Dow two Courtney Kaiser from Midland Sarah Syed from Midland Dow in three Katie Burchard from Midland in four Sasha Konovalenko from Dow in five and Corinne Dunsmore from Midland in lane six one senior in this heat is Courtney Kaiser in lane two Courtney's one of the captains for the Midland High team Sarah Said is one of the uh, few uh, Dow swimmers that has already qualified for a state in, in this event. Uh, she qualified at that meet last week, so right. she'll be representing Dow in the 100 freestyle uh, at the upcoming state meet about a month from now. And it looks like up in lane five, Sasha Konovalenko is having a great swim as well. Yeah. You might get it. Oh, just off. Great swim, though. 56-32. That's a new best. New best. Your winner in lane five, Sasha Konovalenko. She misses the division state cut by about a half a second. Yeah. A little less than a half a second. Now well, there'll be a couple more meets. Maybe she'll get it at a later date, right. too. Next up, we have our longest event of the night, the event number eight, the girls 500 freestyle. When you go to a swim meet and you look at the first thing most people look at and when they look at their uh, playbook is how many heats of the 500 <laughs> freestyle there are. Uh, this is an event that takes anywhere between about five and a half and six and a half to seven minutes. Um, we have one heat tonight. And it's the longest uh, distance event in high school swimming. Correct. At least at this age. We have tonight in the 500 free, we have in lane one, Samantha Ludwig from Dow. In lane two, Carly Servinsky from Midland. In lane three, Sarah Brandstadt from Dow. In lane four, Delaney Randall from Midland. In five, Charlie Samansky from Dow. And in six, Lena Lorenz from Midland High.
It's a quick turnaround for Delaney Randall, who just finished the Hunter Butterfly just a little bit ago. Yeah, but if you can swim fly, you can swim anything. <laughs> well, we have a couple minutes where they're swimming. I just wanted to list tonight the uh, some of the, the seniors for Midland High, the Midland High Chemex, uh, included Rachel Schneider, um, Miss Stephanie Lynch, uh, Brittany Duford, Ariana Honer, uh, Dana Morse, Natalie Halpin, Alexis Ligib, Jesse Brown, Gabby Holman, Cassim Gramidi, Rin Rohde, Courtney Kaiser, uh, Sarah Wing, who is a diver, and Emily Crush. Those are the 14 seniors this year for Midland High School. Really large senior class yes. for, for Midland. They're going to be uh, replacing a lot of swimmers next year. Fortunately, they do have a pretty big team with 42 swimmers there. So every year is a new cast of characters, yes. but a really, uh, really nice ceremony uh, off broadcast today, honoring all the, all the seniors and their accomplishments. Right. And they, uh, it's really amazing uh, the accomplishments they have both in the class and out the class, and yeah. and some of their memories that they pass on to their right. uh, teammates for next year. You'll notice when you uh, when you watch this race, you'll notice that the, when they get to the other end of the pool that they're, they have teammates that are holding cards at the other end with numbers on them. Uh, the 500 is long enough that for the swimmers to keep track, that's 20 links of the pool. You'll notice that uh, when Delaney, who's leading here, gets down to the other end, her teammate will have a card with a number on it, which tells her where she's at during this race. For example, right here, let's see. I don't see your oh, yeah. and you see the seven there. And what they do with that card determines a little bit on how they need to swim. Uh, for example, Doug, I'll let you speak to that because I know you know more Kevin was a 500 swimmer. Yeah, so so sometimes not all swimmers do this, but uh, it, it's one one of the races where you can get some insight uh, or coaching during the race. So if uh, their general general rule is that you're swimming right on time of your, your splits that you want to maintain, the pace you want to maintain, uh, they'll keep the uh, the sign relatively stable. Uh, if you're a little ahead of pace, sometimes uh, they'll they'll gently sway the card. If uh, but generally the one rule of thumb is if you start falling off the pace or you're in trouble, uh, not uh, staying on top of what you you targeted for for the race, uh, they'll start moving the. Uh, the counter up and down. So never want to see that, especially early in the race, if you're a 500 right. swimmer. <laughs> right. At the end, generally, uh, you know, all bets are off and uh, everyone's sprinting. But in Doing general, that's some way. Now, as they can. now some, some swimmers like that, actually some don't. And uh, it just, they work out with the coach. You'll see in, in the one lane where they're showing uh, the 11, how she was bobbing it up and down. And actually the counter next to her swaying the, the, the sign back and forth. Forward. Yeah. So at least gives them an idea from their uh, pace on how their pace is that they want to keep. Yeah, and the counter and the swimmer uh, generally get a good bond. Uh, you know, whether some some of it's just uh, superstition, but yeah. generally if you have your favorite counter, they uh, ah. you're stuck with them for the season. It's just like having a caddy when you're golfing. I'm there sure you go. the same way. You want the same person next to you each time. You'll notice too when you when you look at the swimmers and and see them on the side of the pool that there's a certainly is a uniform that the swimmers wear. From starting at the top with the caps, and those caps, there's basically two kinds. There's a, a latex cap and a silicone cap. Uh, the latex caps are about $5. The silicone caps are about $15, but some prefer one over the other. You'll notice they've got goggles on, which really, it's, it's interesting to think that back goggles were finally, 1976 is when they were, when they universally started wearing goggles. So they haven't been wearing them forever. Yep. These days, if a swimmer loses their goggles, you'd think they were in major trouble, but they used to swim without them. Those are about $20. Yep. Um, then they've got the suits on, and you'll notice that tonight, a couple different kinds of suits. The, the majority of the swimmers have a typical tank-type suit. Um, you'll see there a couple of the girls from the back mm -hmm. um, where most of their leg is showing. That's a typically a practice suit. Those suits um, are what they practice in and race in for most of the year. And then there are a few girls here tonight who are trying to get uh, specific cuts and specific yep. times who are in their racing suits. And those racing suits are pretty expensive. And they retail for anywhere between $200 and $450 for yeah. some of the You'll even see in this 500, uh, Rainy Delano from Midland is in what's one of those uh, high-tech suits. Right. Um, 
I probably was wearing it for her fly event, um, but it's paying dividends for her in this race yep. uh, even here. She's on pretty good pace for her 500, uh, even though she had just swam the 100. So yep. um, it, it can make a difference in special meets. And usually uh, in the bigger meets, uh, they'll, they'll break out some of the Baskin yeah. suits. You see the double orange square. That's what you want to see. That means you're done. One more, one more, one more 25. And if you could, I don't know if you could hear on the on your TV set, but they just rang the bell. Mm -hmm. um, when the swimmer starts their final 50, the, the referee uh, shakes the bell to let them know that it's the final 50. Yeah. And we mentioned uh, how the Midland High team uh, has a lot of seniors this year. Uh, the reverse was kind of true with Dow this year, with 45% of the team actually being new this year. So large incoming freshman class mm -hmm. or swimmers that had just joined the team without previously being right. on the team. So different challenge for coaching there, trying to get each other uh, familiar with each other and, and getting the, uh, uh, the routine down and building new friendships and bonds uh, and training. They spend an awful lot of time practicing, uh, sometimes for Dow High anyway, twice a, twice a day in the morning at 5 or 5.30 and then at night again, so they get to know each other well. Yeah, those, uh, especially when your, your daughter doesn't drive that uh, 5 <laughs> o'clock in the morning practice where you're up at uh, yeah. 4 in the morning to get them ready and going uh, yeah. shows a lot of commitment from the parents uh, to get to them the, there. Kudos to the parents of these swimmers, exactly right. I, I'm, no, I'm li living that firsthand, and I know you, you were recently as well. So the winner of the 500 freestyle tonight in lane four from Midland High was Delaney Randall. In second place in lane five, a freshman from Midland Dow, Charlie Szymanski. And third from Midland Dow, Miss Sarah Brandstad. Now the next event's gonna be uh, the sprint relay, the 200 yard freestyle relay. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, give you the lineups in preparation for that, because there's so many swimmers going. They'll get that started in a minute. Right. This is uh, for the evening. There's two more relays and two more individual events. And this is the sprint uh, freestyle relay, the 200 yard freestyle relay. There'll be two heats. In the first heat, in lane one from Dow High, is Karnika Chandra, Kava Chandra, who happen to be twins. That's kind of nice. Sarah Church and Emma Carlson. In lane two from Midland High, Jalen Lewis, Danielle Draves, Julia Powers, and Jessica Purves. In late three from Dow, Jackie Lee, Maddie Niederstadt, Michaela Peary, and Annabelle Park. In lane four from Midland, Brittany Duford, Ariana Honer, Jesse Brown, and Cassie Ramiti. A couple seniors in all four seniors in that race from Midland High. In lane five from Dow High, Annika Thorson, Megan Troublecock, Ali Trotter Wright, and Lauren Ranalski. And finally in lane six from Midland, Evan Rohde. Teju Reddy, Hayden Rice, and Dakota Mavy. This is again the 200 freestyle relay. Each swimmer will swim a 50. So this is a, a mad sprint race, but this is a one where uh, this will be good to watch both the, the, the turns at the one end, but uh, for those uh, interested in, in the relay starts, uh, you'll be able to get a good view of the exchanges down at the end of the pool as they come into the first. And the goal, of course, is to see if you can get extended over the swimmer just as they're coming in. So the toe should just be leaving the, the block as the next swimmer goes. And you will often see when you watch this race, if you look at the results afterwards, you'll often see at big meets one or two disqualifications in this because the, the referees watch that very closely. Yep. I think the Midland or the Dow girls last year at States were disqualified in one of the relay events. So it's a fine line from speed to uh, right. to disqualification. In lane three out in front is the Dow High team. Close behind him in lane five is the second Dow team. Up next will be the final, final swimmer, the fourth young woman taking off. Yeah. Speed Michaela Peary taking off in lane three for Dow, who's out front. Michaela's, Michaela is a very versatile swimmer. She swims uh, the 500, the 200, and recently has been doing very well in the 50. Yeah. 
And we mentioned uh, upcoming meets again, the, the, the Big Valley, Saginaw Valley Championship meet right. uh, will be in two weeks, and that'll be the teams both Midland and Dow High uh, compete in that, along with other regional schools like Saginaw Heritage, Bay City Western, Bay City Central, uh, Flint Powers, and uh, Carmen Ainsworth. So uh, usually about seven or eight teams compete in that. It's usually the highlight uh, meet for, 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 you for know, the local season bragging for most swimmers, right? Yeah. And then uh, for those that qualify from that meet, they'll go on to state. And uh, from the Dow side so far, we've already had some qualifiers. From the Dow High side, Sarah Saeed in the 1500 free relays. Uh, Anna Jacobs in all three relays. Uh, Emily Schulteis in, in the 200 and uh, 400 free relay. And Abby Huffman in the 500 free. And Sasha Kamaloka in relays. And Claire Newman both in the 50, the 100, uh, and both 200 and 400 free relays as well. Yep, and your winner in lane three from Dow High, the team of Jackie Lee, Maddie Niederstadt, Annabelle Park, and Michaela Peary. Shout out to the Parks listening in Grant Pass, Oregon. Well, the light's probably still shining there, I bet. <laughs> Next up is heat number two. In this heat in lane three, the Dow High team last week down at Grove swam a time uh, that was just about two tenths of a second off the Dow School record. So they have an idea tonight. They want to try to do that. So we'll see what happens. That's in lane three. And you'll, see in they're, you'll see they're housed in the, uh, the high-tech suits, too, for this event. So maybe we'll see a uh, pool record tonight. And they're off. Lane one, Dow High, Katie White, Audrey Zhu, Sarah Brandstadt, Samantha Ludwig. Lane two, Rachel Schneider, Stephanie Lynch, Corinne Dunsmore, and Danya McDonald. Lane three. Claire Newman, Sarah Syed, Hannah Jacobs, Emily Schulteis in lane four. She, she did it. So, so what we can say is uh, Claire Newman also let off the oh 200 free relay, and she just picked up the uh, the pool record for the 50 free, which you can do if you swim the uh, the first leg of the. Uh, of the uh, 200 free relay. Yep. So, so congratulations to Claire on yep. a, a new the pool record Dow, in the 50 free. Dow High School pool record. Now let's see if it does see what the team could do if the team, the final, this is the final swimmer. Yeah. And they're going to be pretty they close. They look good. It's Hannah Jacobs, a senior, her last swim in this. And finally, we've got Emily Schulteis finishing up. Let's go, Emily. Let's go. They have to beat about a 140.4 or something. One forty point six nine is what they have to beat. One forty point six nine. I think they're going to get it pretty easily. Yeah. All right. A very nice finish for Dow High there, breaking a new pool record by almost two seconds. A very, very powerful swim there. New pool record. I, one of the one of the seniors tonight, Hannah Jacobs, told my daughter Claire, who's on the relay with her, that when she started as a freshman, one of the things that she wanted to do was to get her name on the board on the side of the pool. And they talked about it today, and Claire was, my daughter Claire was her, her buddy, if you will, or her freshman, they buddy up at the beginning of the year. And uh, that was her goal. Her last parting gift was hopefully to help do that. So congratulations to, to Claire Newman and to Dow High for setting the record in the 50 freestyle and in the 200 free relay. And the 200 free relay again was Claire Newman, Sarah Saeed, Anna Jacobs, and Emily Schultes. Congratulations for us. Next in second place in that event also went to Midland High. And they also swam uh, a strong time. Uh, just under four Our next race is the backstroke. They're going to flip over and get on their back. Congratulations. 
So we'll have two heats in the 100 backstroke. And the first heat, uh, we'll have Brittany Bauer from, from, Midland, uh, from Midland Dow. Lane two, Holly Stauffer. I'm sorry, I'm reading the wrong event. 100 backstroke. Uh, lane one is Amy Berry from Midland Dow. Lane two, Rachel Schneider from Midland. Lane three, Brooke Schultz from Dow. Brittany Dunford's in lane four from Midland. Isabel Kemp uh, from Midland Dow. Kemple, I'm sorry. And in lane six, Tehu Reddy from Midland. Under backstroke. Now you'll see a good shot of the, the backstroke where the swimmers can basically uh, can turn on their stomach, but they're only allowed a half a stroke uh, as they come into the wall a freestyle before they flip. So close up, good shot of the swimmers, turn once, flip, and then have to come off on their back. Make note that I believe it's a little far away, Doug, but I believe that 50 freestyle record was set a long time ago by a swimmer named Christy Haydanik. Uh, who swam here back in the 1980s. It's a long-standing record. Uh, she went on to swim at Stanford University and, and uh, competed in the Olympic trials. The 200 free relay is a little bit more recent. Uh, swam by some swimmers here about four or five years ago. So in the first heat of the 100 backstroke, your winner in lane three from Midland Dow is Miss Brooke Schultz. The second heat is, consists of, in lane one, Veronica Matthews from Dow. Lane two, Maddie Allen from Midland. Lane three, Sasha Konovalenko from Midland Dow. Lane four, Emily Crush, a senior and captain from Midland High. In lane five, Maggie Dooley from Midland Dow. And in lane six, Misa Halton from Midland High. Well done, Jeff. Looks like you're coming off the high of that last event, so back oh, here, miss here on the team. No, you're doing great. Oh. Congratulations, Dan. Nice oh, swim oh. by Claire and the relay team. Yeah, thank you very much. Hard to concentrate there for a minute. You'll notice when you watch their start on the backstroke that it's totally different than anything else, and this is so important. When you watch them take off here, when they go underwater, not too many years ago, they when they started, you'll see just a little bit further, see the little red line that the leader's crossing yeah. now. That's a line that when they take off underwater, they have to be up and out of the pool swimming by that line. Before they enacted that, there were swimmers that were good enough on the backstroke that they would go the complete length of the pool without ever coming above the water. It is much more efficient underwater in the backstroke, and if you've got a, a good underwater in the backstroke, it really makes a difference. You watch when they come off here, the further you can go under the water really does make a difference. Probably wasn't very exciting back then when they go to full distance, <laughs> full distance underwater. Yeah, but it's, uh, you know, it's, they, they just look at different rules, and just like any other sport, they adopt uh, to the times, uh, both with equipment and, and endurance and, yeah. and tricks that seem to work. Having a very nice swim out front. Uh, in lane three, Sasha Konovalenko from Midland Town. Very nice time. Sasha's best at uh, 103.78. Uh, freshman, Sasha Konovalenko from Dow High School. In second, in lane four, one of the captains, Emily Crush, and senior from Midland High School. Next up is our final individual event of the night. Event number 11, the girls' 100-yard breaststroke. There'll be two heats of the 100-yard breast. You'll notice that you'll see a lot of hundreds here. Um, by the time they get to, to uh, high school, they no longer swim the 50s in the breaststroke or backstroke or just the hundreds, except for the 50 freestyle. Lane one from Dow, Brittany Bouard. Lane two, Holly Stouffer from Midland High. Lane three, Ali Jaster from Dow. Lane four, Serena Fleming Dittenberg from Midland. In lane five, Annika Thorson from Dow. And in lane six, Hannah Worley from Midland High.
after they start, breaststrokers do something unique called an underwater pull that it's a little hard to see. Maybe on the next start, uh, a, a series of different things they do with their arms and their kicks before they come up out of the water, you'll be able to see it when they turn. It's another event where you have to touch with both hands at the one wall. And this is another one where, you know, a strong pull on the turn really makes a big difference right. in the breaststroke because Correct. they're allowed one full stroke and one full kick before their head breaks the water. It seems like it's such a varied stroke you know, from one swimmer to the next. Some, their head comes out of the water rapidly. Others stroke and push longer underwater. Uh, very, very different for the swimmers in this way. Yeah. And coaching philosophy changes quite often in the breaststroke more than any other stroke in terms of what's more efficient. And, so do you uh, think it's more a coaching thing than uh, necessarily the swimmers, how they're taught? Uh, it can be. Yeah. It can be. Uh, well, because uh, there'll be a, a new method. Someone uh, starts swimming well, and sometimes it's hard to determine is it just a super talented swimmer that right. could swim it one way but uh, can lead to some coaching, and, yeah. and then, uh, you know, it takes a pretty good sample. To, uh, to look at it. Yeah. A lot of uh, different technique analysis uh, and modeling goes into uh, some of the technique drills, right. but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's hard to overcome uh, talent in certain events. So. It's, yeah, who touches the wall first is what's <laughs> most important. Doesn't matter what you look like, really. So. Very nice swim for Allie Jaster from Midland Dow, nice a sophomore swim. in first place in the first heat of the 100-yard breaststroke. Next will be heat number two. Heat number two of the girls' 100-yard breaststroke. In lane one from Midland Dow, Tiffany Nesterak. She's a senior. In lane two, a senior from Midland High, Natalie Halfen. In lane three, Abby Huffman from Dow. In lane four, Alexis Ligib from Midland. In lane four, excuse me, five, Kaylee Niederstadt, a senior from Dow. And in lane six, Abby Chapman from Midland. Yeah, this should be another close race yes. uh, between the Midland and Dallas when both have very yeah. accomplished breaststrokers. Yep, Abby and Alexis have raced each other closely quite a few times. Early this year. Kaylee Niederstadt not too far behind. Watch You'll see both are uh, getting close to the state cut, so they're suited up right. in, in the high-tech longer leg suits and uh, hopefully can uh, get yeah. close, if not uh, meet the, uh, the state cut today. This seems to be a pretty difficult cut at the meets we've been to. I haven't seen many who have swam this time. Wow, that was a tremendously yeah. uh, good start uh, uh, wow. in, lane, uh, in lane three. Abby. You see how far Abby went underwater that time. That was a great start for her. See how she does now. So... She's way out in front on um, this one. Really quick off the block for, for Abby. See here, nice long pull outs by all the swimmers yep. here. That kick that they have underwater coming off the wall just really makes such a difference. She's got to get in the, into the 110. No, I don't think it's not going to quite. Oh. Oh, and she just missed it, 111.64. But a great swim. Missed that state cut by just about one second. In, in second place in lane four, Alexis Ligon. Yep. And we're going to go right into the last uh, yep. event. This is the uh, 400 free relay, and there's only going to be one heat, one heat. final seat. So this will be the this will be the final race of the evening tonight. And, and uh, if you and uh, in lane one, we'll go uh, with Dow High, Amy Berry, and and uh, Abby Huffman, Maggie Dooley, and Charlie Shemansky. Lane two from Midland, uh, Carly Servinsky, uh, Serena Fleming Dittenbar, uh, Gabby Holman, and and Maddie Allen. In lane three from Dow High, Claire Newman, Sarah Saeed, Anna Jacobs, and Emily Schulteis. In lane four from Midland, uh, Delaney Randall, Natalie Halpin, uh, Corinne Dunsmore, and Katie Burkert. 
In lane five, Katie White, Chelsea Fenton, Sasha Konovalenko, and Sarah Brandstad. In lane six from Midland, Jesse Brown, Ariana Homer, Breen Road, and uh, Brittany Dunford. This is a race that I know Midland High was hoping to uh, try to qualify from a re or, uh, state uh, cut. Remember, you're watching this swim meet tonight on MPS TV 190 on Charter and Channel 99 on Uverse. It'll be cable cast on Friday, October 22nd at noon and Saturday, October 22nd at 2 p.m. Check the Midland Public School website for more dates and times. www.midlandpublicschool.org. And we go into this last relay. All the swimmers are out very quickly. Swimming out in front right now in Midland Dow, you have, Dow, you have Claire Newman, who's first, 25 seconds. And Claire, again, uh, since she's uh, leading off the relay, can apply this to uh, beating the pool record in the 100 free. And what's the record, Jeff? Do you have it? 52.67. So let's see if she gets out and fast she, enough uh, she has, to get there. She has swam that before in another pool, but not in the Dow pool. She, no, nope, not quite. She did. 52, 55. Yeah. So she did get the uh, pool record as well in the uh, 100 free. So good swim for uh, Claire, breaking two pool records today. I think. I don't, yeah, I'll have to look at that for sure, but it's awful close. So unofficial at this point, but they'll announce unofficial. it if it comes through. Let's see what their team can do here. They'll get... Uh, because they can also be going for the 400 uh, uh, meter of uh, 400 free relay pool record as well. And that record is a 339.2. Got one more, two more swimmers here. They're yep, halfway. Just going into the, uh, the third swimmer here. Senior Hannah Jacobs taking off. And right now, uh, Dow with a significant lead, but uh, Midland and uh, Midland Dow fighting for a uh, second place right now in a close race. She's got another 25, and they'll finish off. I think uh, this is the same group, isn't it, Doug, that swam the 200 free relay, I believe? Uh, I believe you're right. Uh, yep. Yes, it is. Yep. Same team. Same order, even. So let's see if they've got uh, magic for Hannah Jacobs on her final year here, her final night as a senior. Final swimmer here tonight. It'll be Emily Schulteis hitting the water. Yep. Yeah. She had a great swim in, in the last race. And what'd you say the record was, Jeff? Um, it is a 339.21. Yep, and I think they're going to be well under that, so they're on a good pace right now. You have to swim a, about a 29 to do it, so yep. it's going to be close. Very close to the record. Good turn. See what she's got left in the tank. Got to swim a 13 second, 25. Going to be close. No, not quite. Not quite. Just a little short, but first place is the one team from, from Midland Dow. That's Claire Newman, Sarah Saeed, Hannah Jacobs, and Emily Schultes. What a great night of swims here tonight. A lot of good memories for these seniors. Yep. Good day all around. Both teams really represented well and really uh, uh, swam well for uh, a dual meet. Uh, in preparation for the Valley. So the, all these swimmers are actually swimming relatively tired right now. They're in the middle right. of their, their workout cycles and uh, bodes well once they go into their taper, which is a, a period where they uh, do more repetitive speed with more rest 
uh, over the next uh, several weeks. weeks. So probably we'll be heading into that a week before the, the Valley meet for many of the swimmers and uh, trying to be optimized for the best times at that yeah. uh, conference meet. Yeah. And Dow has one more uh, one more meet, correct, this week against Bay City Western uh, here at yep, the pool. Yep, they'll have a home meet this week, and then um, I'm not sure about that, Midland High. Yeah, I'm not sure if Midland has one more meet or if this is their yeah. last one for the season. We have one uh, one swimmer still in the pool from Midland High. And then we'll wait for just, uh, the, they should quickly announce the, the final meet results. Yep. And Once again, uh, uh, Midland Public School TV productions like this couldn't happen without volunteer support, just like the volunteers down there on the pool deck. Get involved by taking MCTV's next orientation studio workshop on Saturday, November 12th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The cost is $45. Call 837-3474 for more information. While the swimmers are warming down here at the end of the meet, um, please help MCTV celebrate the many great volunteers who make the shows you watch. Come to Honors Night on Thursday, November 17th at 6.30 p.m. at Creative 360. We did get uh, official confirmation that Claire Newman did uh, set the 100 freestyle uh, pool record this evening. So um, on, a, on her way to uh, hopefully more records through her swimming career. As a freshman, she has uh, several seasons to go. So we did get the All final right. results, and, and the results of the meet tonight were, were Dow High uh, defeating uh, Midland High 113 to 71. Uh, but actually, very uh, competitive meet, a lot yes. of close races, and uh, uh, great participation uh, of both both teams in Midland. Uh, so a really, lot of really positive uh, meet and environment uh, at the meet tonight. A lot of great friends swimming against each other tonight. That's for sure. And a lot of fun bringing you uh, the telecast tonight. Yeah. And a yep. uh, pleasure working with you again, yep. as always, Jeff. This is and Doug White. My team. name is Jeff Newman. It was uh, a lot of fun, certainly not professionals. You could probably tell that. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we hope you learned a little bit about swimming right. and about some of the swimmers. And, uh, and again, uh, if you're interested in swimming, a lot of programs within the Midland community to get involved with, uh, really large junior high programs, which is a feeder for this, as well as several age group swimming programs. Uh, both in Midland and Bay City and Saginaw. Um, but uh, the Midland Dolphins is uh, one of the larger teams uh, in the Midland area. Always looking for swimmers and uh, swimming, like we said, is a sport for, for everyone. Uh, it's a lifetime sport, whether you uh, compete until yep. you're older or until you uh, do triathlons. It's one of those uh, lifelong events, uh, excellent exercise, right. and really uh, a good a good learning environment, both individually and in this case, like tonight, a really good team spirit. Right. So I encourage it and recommend it to uh, to anyone looking for a sport of the future. Yeah, so. and there's and even starting earlier than that, the Midland Community Center uh, with their swim instructions. That's where my children started was taking lessons the Mid Midland Community Center, and then starting as you mentioned with the Midland Dolphins. Coach Buffy Hall's been there for over 25 years. Uh, kind of spearheading all these young yep. swimmers that continue on through their careers. Both of our, uh, Doug's children and my children, both started with, with Buffy and continued on through Dow High School and Midland High School, Bay City Western, uh, a lot of the local schools, even some of the Bay City schools as well. So okay. a great tradition in Midland. Well, again, thank you all for, yep, everyone for joining us. We're going to sign off. And thanks again from Midland uh, Dow High Natatorium. Good night.